peaceful greetings everyone so I'm back with another video and this one I was and had been thinking about for some time to do like I've stated in a lot of videos there's so many videos that I have to do and so I'm just gonna do them one by one and get them you know done so anyways this video is regarding a story that I was told numerous times like growing up but by different people like my alleged mom D Dolores uh, Diane Dee Dee Sunshine Hartley Smith Barnes that is now only going by Dee Dee which you know she always would switch up uh, you know how she would be um, identified because she was a criminal she's a fugitive and she had, you know, kidnapped children. So um, we lived our life like criminals on the run. And, you know, it was really, really crazy um, how much we moved. And I just uh, was telling a woman just the other day that we would literally, when us as children lived with her, we would literally move one, every one to three months on average. Okay, as soon as she thought that, basically people were kind of figuring out um you know that she had kidnapped children or you know that she was up to something you know we we were out of there and that was quite often and we literally would have to take whatever we could grab in our arms and carry in our arms and leave everything else okay so anyways the story that kept coming to to mind for me to actually share with you guys is one that was not just told to me by her because she you know is uh, she she is a complete liar okay and um so much so that literally other family members or alleged family members like her brother and her own sister her alleged mother as well uh, Penny Hollinger, they would all ask to speak to me on the phone whenever, like, she was talking to them, and they just knew that they would get the, the truth of the matter or whatever the story really was from me, so they would all ask to speak to me since I was a little girl. So, anyways, but this story, it was one that I believed because other people in the alleged family uh i say alleged because you know no dna has been done to prove that any of these people are my biological family so anyways um yeah so other people in the alleged family that has not been proven yet um but when these stories were told i believed that they were my family members okay so other people in the family had stated these you know same stories okay and for a fact uh Dolores Diane Dee Dee Sunshine Harley Smith Barnes uh sister Eva Hartley had actually uh told me this same story um almost verbatim I mean it was like if they had practiced that story <laughs> Like, they literally were, were, like, damn near word for word. Okay, so, anyways, it, in the beginning, right, and thinking that as a child and looking back, right, um, when you think about the, these stories, you're like, or when they're being told to you, right, you have this, like, hope <clears throat> because you are feeling like, you know, I, I, and to that, at that point in time, like I stated, let me reiterate this, I thought that these were my family members, okay? Uh, I don't know what kind of uh, hex, voodoo, hoodoo, mind control, uh, hypnosis, uh brain altering whatever something they was putting in my food I don't know what what the heck it was but um I really did think at you know some point 
that these were my family members, even though I do, and I will state this, and I have stated this in another video, is that I do know that there was a point that I knew as a toddler and, you know, probably a little bit further on that these were not my family members, okay? And at some point, there's a cutoff point where that actually changed, okay? And something was done. I'm not exactly sure what was done, but something definitely was done to obstruct the that memory uh, and that knowing. It was an absolute knowing that they were not my family members. Okay, so then at some point, I'm, you know, thinking that these are my family members. So anyways... Um, the story, when you're hearing it and you're thinking, or I was thinking that these are my family members, you're pretty much, you're rooting for them in this story for everything to work out in their favor, right? Because of the way it is presented. Okay. So the example, well, not even this example, the story was told to me like this. So Tyrone, which was alleged me, allegedly my oldest brother, okay, he was at who was supposedly either, I want to say it was his father or someone that had stepped in as his father figure that was taking care of him and had him in his custody okay and so Dolores Diane Didi Sunshine Hartley Smith Barnes went to the front door and she was basically had these the people of the house the adults distracted at the front door and while she was distracting these people at the front door, Eva Hartley went to uh, the window of Tyrone's and kidnapped him. Okay. And at some point, both Dolores and Eva were at the window getting him. Uh, I don't know exactly how long she was at the front door before she went uh, to the window to help in the kidnapping of Tyrone. But the thing is, is that when you're thinking that this is your brother and you're thinking that someone else that shouldn't have him has him and it's being presented in a way that that is her biological son, you're rooting for her to get her son right but in all actuality that's not her son so she is admitting and telling these stories of actually literally kidnapping someone else's child out of their house like literally breaking and entering into a child's room and kidnapping a child from their home okay and what's crazy is I was thinking about it and I was like, so uh, allegedly Eva Hartley was pregnant with her first child, which was Millicent, aka Millie, right? And what's crazy is that allegedly Dolores Diane, Dee Dee Sunshine, Hartley Smith Barnes was supposed to be pregnant with Tyrone at the same time as she was pregnant with Millie, as Eva was pregnant with Millie. So did Eva get pregnant and then she, Dolores, Diane, Dee Dee Sunshine, Harley Smith, Barnes think, oh, she's pregnant. Let me go get a baby and just go kidnap a baby. It, I mean, that's what it seems like, you know, unless all of these children, even my alleged cousins are kidnapped too. I don't know. I have no idea. But this 
the whole thing is hella sus, aka suspect, is real fishy, and the math ain't mathin', and um, so what it what what this situation reminded me of was like this uh, speech that I had heard from James Baldwin years ago, and um. It's like, I'm going to let you guys hear it. Okay, hopefully I can get it well enough in the picture. Around the age of five or six or seven, to discover the flag to which you have pledged allegiance, along with everybody else, has not pledged allegiance to you. It comes as a great shock to discover that Gary Cooper killing off the Indians when you were rooting for Gary Cooper, that the Indians were you, that the Indians were you. That the Indians were you. Okay, so you're rooting for Dolores, Diane, Dee Dee, Sunshine, Hartley, Smith, Barnes, and Eva Hartley to kidnap Tyrone because you're thinking that that's, you know, their biological kin and it's not so they're just kidnapping a another family's child okay and that's not exactly what happened to me but that's very similar to you know what happened to me and so anyways this is you know also very reminiscent of what was done with my own sons and so it's just like this is getting nipped in the bud this generational alleged curse is being completely broken and ceasing to exist these criminals are going to uh, literally come to their uh, justice period the spiritual spiritual judgment has already been called so it's only a matter of time that it actually manifests in the 3d okay so everything that these people have done in ill will in you know breaking spiritual laws and breaking physical laws uh you know and laws within the 3d criminal I mean like major crimes have been committed so you know to slander to uh forge to uh you know do perjury in these alleged courts to kidnap four children my my own children uh being kidnapped and put into the you know human trafficking of you know, child trafficking, CPS, and things like that based off of fabrications, lies, and, you know, slander, and all of these, you know, defamation of characters to genocide, right? Genocide meaning uh, to separate a family in whole or in part, right, from their culture, right, uh, which would be indigenous. My sons are indigenous i'm 70 percent indigenous that was another math that wasn't math and because if dolores diane Dee Dee, sunshine harley smith barnes was my actual biological mother i would have had to have been 50 percent caucasian so that there's only 30 percent the math ain't mathing because she is not 20 percent nothing okay so <laughs> and she's not 20 percent indigenous and so there, w there was something very interesting that when I first moved back to California, the Califian territory, that she had said, you know, in a vindictive, very evil uh, way, you know, to attempt to hurt her children that were there in the presence to, you know, hear what she was saying. She stated that she only had black children aka you know indigenous children as an insurance policy okay so you have to think 
you know, at that point, she's making it seem like she actually, like, had, you know, given nativity birth, right, to children, okay? But she only kidnapped children, indigenous children, as an insurance policy. You know, thinking back, for her to be a Caucasian woman and to have mixed children, she was allotted and allowed in places and within circles that she never would have otherwise been able to get in um, without having mixed children. She would have never been accepted in some of these places, not all of them, but some of them for sure. Okay. And so it's very interesting, you know, looking back at who was more apprehensive and if they, I wonder if they actually knew, right? If they, if they had either a spiritual knowing or they actually just, you know, knew because we're on the street, you know what I'm saying? And so anyways, there's there's just so many layers to this onion. It's unreal, but this I'm not going to run it up as they say. I'm going to keep this one short and just keep adding like little short tidbits here and there, but you know, that's really an evil thing to say if you think about it to, you know, individuals that are supposed to be your alleged children that they were just basically an insurance policy and you know, insurance policies are like, you know, for your own kind of like life. Um, how do you say like um, to to, uh, you know, selfishly the way that she said it was it, it felt very selfish. Like it was it was only to benefit her. OK, so. Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to uh, ask you guys what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, um, you know, about <laughs> this situation. It's crazy that they had that movie, they cloned Tyrone, because, you know, my eldest brother um, or my alleged eldest bro older brother is supposed to be Tyrone. Regardless, I was raised as him being my older brother. And it was crazy because, like, him and the twins were brutally beat to the point that they were hospitalized. And after the age of about four years old, I never seen them again because the last time I seen him was standing in front of a judge where they were taken and adopted out uh, away from Dee Dee Sunshine, Dee Dee, Dolores Diane, Dee Dee Sunshine, Hartley Smith Barnes. And so, you know, when I actually, you know, looked for him and, you know, thought I had found him and got in contact with him, one of the things that he stated is that he wanted nothing to do with Dolores Diane. And um, I'll get into, you know, why that is on a different one on well no I could say it on this one because this this video is mainly about him being kidnapped so um one of the reasons why he majorly did not want to speak to her is because he had confessed to me in which I obviously after that being the individual that I am asked Dolores Diane about this or whatever and uh of course she denied it but um you know uh he bas he he didn't basically he stated that she pimped him out as a child um and there was one picture of him with his shirt off that always as a child and even any time that i seen it later on it gave me a sick feeling it gave me an underlying like clenched up stomach and like like I wanted to throw up like a nauseous feeling like the picture was not just like a regular picture that 
you know, you take of your, your son with his shirt off and it's just like one of those childhood, you know, memory pictures. He looks really sad. He looks really like, like broken and, and like the life was sucked out of his, his, like the soul was sucked out of his eyes. Like, you, like it was real dark and it was like, he was trying to smile but it was so much pain behind the smile and it just seemed like it was something sick behind why he even had his shirt off like it it just always gave me a bad feeling but I couldn't pinpoint as a child why I felt so ugh, disgusted by the picture it's not like it wasn't like it was him but it was him, you know, it was like, it was, it was the whole thing, like, and I'm an empath, so I could feel, like, it was like I was feeling the energy that he was in when he took the picture, like, I could feel the energy around him when he took the picture, it was just really ugly, dark, energy okay and it just always every time I looked at that picture it was just like ugh like I it's it's hard to explain it's a feeling it's a it's a feeling that it's 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 hard to explain other than how I've, I've attempted to explain it okay um but other than that it is a strong feeling that I would get and you know, after he said that, it was just like, that's why I didn't like that picture. I mean, it was just like, all these things of all these like puzzle pieces were like coming together, right? Of, you know, Dolor Dolores Diane, Dee Dee Sunshine, Harley Smith's barn, best friend, molesting, uh, Zachary Hartley when he was in her care at you know as a foster child to you know it's like birds of a feather flock together so you know there it's 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 so much so much so anyways I'm gonna end it there uh if you guys have any questions if you guys would like me to tap into uh, more parts of any part of the stories um these are real life you know <laughs> yeah so this some of my life is um stranger than fiction and uh some of it is actually like uh real crazy it's crazier than some of the movies that i've seen horror f films and stuff so anyways um yeah so let me know what you guys think in the comments if you went through similar things if you uh, would like me to go in on any specific parts. Yeah. All right. But for now, peace.